All right, we're day three. This is our arms day. So we will touch a little bit on the wrists because they are part of the arm. We're going to warm up the upper back a little bit because it is part of the arm. But mostly we're going to try to really get the muscles that are needed for pole dance. So big shoulder circle up and back just to start our warm up. Inhale. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. Emily is here. Blue is here alive. Good. January is on. Call Carmen and Kim. Coming from Hudson, Wisconsin. <laughs> Big breath. <sighs> Good. It's a really great idea to have a chair. If you don't have a chair, we got blocks. So two blocks or a chair for today. Big breath. All right. Hands, flex your hands and then rotate so your fingers are pointed outward. And then ear to one shoulder. Big breath through the belly, through the bottom of the lungs, and then ear to the other side. Good. Side to side, ear to side, and side to side. We're up. We're warming up that upper trap, that really tight upper neck muscle. Ooh, sometimes they get a little bit of a crack. <laughs> I have to tell my chiropractor I don't need them today. Did it for free. <laughs> last two. Good. Last one. That looks good. And then look over your shoulder to the right and the left, looking over the shoulder. Trying to get your chin to either line up with that shoulder, the tip of the shoulder there, or pass it. So like you're going to look over your shoulder behind you without moving your chest. Good. Side to side. Side to side. Gorgeous. Carmen, I'm just going to mute you in case. So let me know if you need anything. All right. Definitely love hearing you guys talk. Three more. Two. Go out and then chin up towards the sky. Chin towards your chest. Good. Warming up that neck. So by loosening up the neck, we're going to stop these upper neck muscles from trying to do the work for us. So we're going to let it loose. We're going to let it relax so we can get our job done. Good. Hold it there in a the little circle as if, like, as if your head was on top of a, like it was a top, like a spinning, like, or, or like a basketball spinning on the top of your finger, spinning around. <laughs> That's it. And then reverse the other way. One hand at a time. One arm is reaching forward. Up. Watch the hand as it goes behind you. Yeah. Up. And then watch it up and back. Good. Hand-eye coordination. We're increasing that for ourselves. Looking up. Watching the hand. Proprioception. And then twisting to open up to the back. Good. Just letting more of the joints get happier about moving today, this morning. Good morning, body. Hello, hello. Last one. Switch sides up and around. Nice and the slower, the better. So slow. This isn't a race. This is a joint warm up. Yes. Four more. Four. Watching that hand. Three. Two. That's it. Last one. Beautifully done. Feet are wider than your hips, so we have some stability here. A little side to side. This is warming up our ankles and our toes because they're involved. Roll the elbows. We're going around. Yeah. I like to imagine I'm bringing in all the good energy. <sighs> bringing it in. <laughs> the earth's beautiful energy and pulling it into you or the universe or source or whatever happiness or inspiration you can get from today. Pull it in and then reverse other way, pushing all the bad stuff out. No toxins. Not today, Satan. No toxicity today. <laughs> ah, get it out of here. Woo. Good. It's warming up our elbows and our shoulders just a little bit more in like a secret way. All right. Open and close the hands. Yeah. Open and close. Good. And then fingers up. So this is um, extension. This is flexion, so we're going up. So the action is we're relaxing as you come down, and then up into extension. Ha! Relax. Ah. Relax. Ah. Good. Four more. Four, three, two, one. It's really common in pole to be in flexion and deviation. That just means your fingers come towards your forearm, and then they kind of lean to the side. This is what happens a lot, especially on spins. It happens a lot if we grab low and we don't and we don't do a pointer finger down, but rather we grab low and do this. That does this to the wrist, which is bad because we don't want to push weight into the wrist that looks like this. But we do want to push into a wrist 
that is straight. So we're going to do that one more time, one more set for five. We're lifting it up, so we're training the brain to be in extension more than flexion. Flexion is usually pretty good for the most part. Not that you'll never exercise it. Shake it up. Good. Forearm warm up. So you come down to the floor if you're not there already. Fingers towards your knees, palms away. We're just warming it up a little bit more. Walking the palms out. So think about walking each palm out. Make sure you roll up the mat for your knees if you need a little extra protection, a little extra support for the knees. Walk them out. So fingers are towards your knees. Good, and you're pressing through the fingers. So it's really important to think of pressing into the floor with your finger versus just bending the elbow to lift the hand, yes? So we're putting weight into the fingers and pressing as the uh, palm lifts up from the floor. That's it. Yes, January, good. Breathing and walking the hands out towards the side. So now my fingers are out to the sides of the room doing the same thing. We're walking them out, getting them warmed up and then walk them around to the front. So this is not a uh, wrist, actually, I will have a workshop if you want. We're gonna do a wrist and grip warm up and strengthening workshop. That's not today, we are touching it though, because it, you have to touch, we're gonna be putting our hands down. You can't ignore it. <laughs> it is part of your arm. Good, but it's, I've got a more extensive one for pole dancers. You can shake that out, coming up soon. So make sure you check all the emails and ask me about it. All right, so thumbs are up, like we're gonna go hitchhiking, and we're gonna pull towards ourselves. Let me get closer. So remember that deviation I talked about a lot, so we're gonna rest the arm, so let it rest, and then you'll pull it into neutral. Not past neutral, just right to neutral. So we're gonna retrain the brain where neutral is. Rest, pull, right in, just into neutral. Neutral means that my rest is straight right into neutral. This is just a neurological retrain, telling the muscles what neutral means, because we can visually see it, and now we can feel it and know it. We don't have to look at it. Two more, two and one. Good, if you did one hand, do the other side. If you did both, just keep going. <laughs> yeah, so we're finding neutral by looking at it, feeling it. Nice, two more. Good, if you're on the mat, go ahead and stand up. Putting that palm on the, f on the pole with my finger pointed down and my palm into the pole. It's gonna be lower around thigh height, top hand is above the head. Bottom arm, push, push. Now we're just retraining how to push through with a straight palm without any deviations, yeah? So this is deviation, means that you're in or out, so we're not gonna let the wrist do this thingy while we push. We want a straight wrist. Push, good. If that feels really good and you're like, hell yeah, Angie, I got it, then you can work on pushing enough so that your feet leave the ground. The top arm's gonna pull, the bottom arm's gonna push, bend the elbow, and then straighten the elbow. It could be that you're just here and you're not leaving the floor, or maybe you're doing a push and a pull, and it feels strong enough, it's not a jump, okay? It's a push, let me come and check you guys out. Oh, if you don't have a, oh, Emily, if you don't have a pull, you can do it on the floor or the wall. Let me show you what I mean. If you're on the floor, your hand is in this position here, and you're pushing. Yeah, so it's kind of like a push-up. You can also do this at the wall. And you can also roll up your mat if you think it's, or if your body feels like it's too hard of an angle so that you can put it under your palm. So we're doing a push. We're modifying it for your body, whatever feels good for your hand, your wrist, your body. Yes, you have options here. If you have a pole, great. If you don't have a pole, you can use the wall. Yeah, switch arms if you didn't already. That bottom arm's doing that push. Top arm is stabilizing if you're using the floor. If you're on the pole, it's gonna pull. Push, push. This is, these are the kind of exercises, those cumulative exercises we've been talking about that over time you retrain your body how to properly do these moves. So when you go to do them and you're doing your pole class and your teacher says, we're gonna do a split grip, your body says, yep, I know exactly how to do a split grip and I'm not gonna get injured, an apprentice, an Aisha, any of those moves. Good, two more. 
Last one. Revisiting our squeezing of the shoulder blades. Hands go in front. You could be standing or sitting. Squeeze between the shoulder blades and then push away. Squeeze between and push. Long neck. Squeeze between and push. This is another retrain of the brain, making sure we're using the right muscles. And they maybe are sore for Monday. <laughs> Mine are. Two more. <laughs> Last one. All right, at the pole or the wall. So you could be at a wall. Push up. So if you're at the wall, your feet are away from you. Push and back in. Push. That's a bicep push. Yeah, remember the elbow goes down. And that wrist will be straight and flat. So if you're at the wall, make sure you look at your wrist, that it's not doing any kind of turn or arch or deviation. Good push. Breathe. You're zipped up through your core from your pubic bone to your diaphragm. It's all zip, 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 zip and tall. Yeah. Three more. Two. Check in the chat. Really sore from the shoulder work uh, in my massage yesterday. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you got a massage. If you're online and you're catching this replay, make sure you comment below live. If you're catching the replay, comment below replay. Switch sides, so arm on the other side. Remember to push. That wrist is straight, strong. That bicep is pointed up towards the sky. We're going to work that bicep. Why do we want to use bicep? Whenever we invert, our biceps need to do a lot of work. We'll go over more of that in a second. We have another exercise that will help with the biceps. Good. Two more. Two. Last one. All right. Shake that one out. On your mat, laying on your side. We did this one in the videos, if you saw any of the pre preview videos. All right, so bottom hand's going to grab the top of the deltoid. Top hand, right by the face, push side body push up. Try not to allow your body to twist, but rather keep it forward. Good. So push and release. Push and release. That's it. Knees are squeezed together. You want it to be a little harder, lower your hand so it's in front of your belly button. If you want a little extra work, or you can be up a little higher, make sure your elbow stays tight to your body. That's it. Yes. Breathe. I'm going to come and check you guys out. It's hard to see from back there. Pushing your five more. That's it. January, looking super good blue. Carmen and Kim doing great. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Just a couple more. Let me check all these other... Yes, gorgeous. Switch sides, other side. This is that push arm when you're doing a spin, so like a chair spin, for example. This is that outside arm pushing across the body into the pole so you can effectively do that spin. Good, breathe and push. Woo, looking good, breathe and push. Four more, four. Three, two, and one more. Perfect. Hold it there. Coming to the pull. So these are, if you don't have a pull, that's fine. I'll give you a different option. If you do have a pull, great. Here's your pull option A. Hands are on the pull. Inside is lower than the outside. Pull up into a bridge pose, and then lower down super slow. Pull up into a bridge, lower down slow. Some of the key points are keeping the neck long, squeezing between the shoulder blades, and pulling the elbows past your rib cage. Keeping them down and low, pulling past. Good. You don't have a pull, that's fine. You can do it without a pull, without a weight, without anything. So the goal is you're pulling here. Maybe you have a band or a strap. That's an option as well. So let me show you how it looks. Pull. Right into the side, elbows are tight. Squeezing between the shoulder blades, neck is long. This is what happens really often, is that we flare out and we often use our upper traps. Upper traps love to do all the work. They're always like, mm, let me carry all the groceries for you. No, we would like the other body parts to be involved. 
Right now, we want the biceps to be the main mover of this. So you can put this, oh, if you don't have a pole, use your foot. Band, strap, uh, anything you want. And pull right into your side. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. And thank you. I forgot to say band at the beginning, so thanks for your patience on that. Good. If you have one or don't, but you don't have to have one. We are just training those muscles to do the proper pull. So when you go to the pull, you, your body can say, oh, I know how to do that effectively, properly. Other side, pull. Yes. Pull. So you don't have to have a band. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Good. Last one. All right. We're going to do all three of those as, as a set. So one more time. The pulls. So you could be at the wall doing pulls. Ready? We're going to do ten on each side. At the wall, at the pole, wherever you're at. You guys ready? Yes. Get it. Push. Nice. January. Push. Push. Nice. Whew. Halfway there. You got five more. Five. Four, three, two, keep your breath working, helping you get through it, and switch. Other side. You can put these in your workout, in your warm up. Nine more. Eight, seven, six, five, four. You're exploding. Good. Three. Elbows facing the floor, two, and one. Beautiful. Side lane pushes. Coming back down to the floor. Bottom hand reaches for the top deltoid. Top hand push up. You can do anything with your legs if you want to bend them, that's fine. You want to straighten them, that's fine. Good. Push. That's it. You got it. You're halfway there. <laughs> Five more. Yes, Emily. Four. Get it, Carmen. Three. Two. Are you getting warm yet? And one. Perfect. Other side. Same thing. Bottom hand on the top. Top hand on the floor. Press. Make sure your fingers are spread wide. So you're pressing with the entire surface of the hand. All the fingers are helping you. You're halfway. You got this. Five more. Beautiful. Four. Get it, January. Nice. Three. Two. And one. Perfect. Go and sit up. If you've got a strap, beautiful. Grab your strap. If you've got a pole, grab your pole. If you don't have... Either that's okay, too. We're working on form, then. Pull in. Pull. We need ten. Nine. Eight. Come on, Carmen. Yes. Seven. Six. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Lengthen the neck. This is proper form on an invert. We can train down here on the floor. Before you go up. Oh, I have the hiccups. How did that happen? The other day I like had a hiccup and then a burp. It was like, whoo <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but it tasted like apples. So that was weird. All right, last two. <laughs> last one. All right, switch sides. Other side. Remember the elbows are kind of clearing or pinning next to the rib cage. The neck is long. Think about like smiling through the collarbones, keeping the collarbones wide. <sighs> Abs are turned on. Maybe you're doing the bridge part. Four more. Three. Two. Good. Last one. Perfect. Grab your chair if you've got a chair, or you can use two blocks. We're going to burn out these triceps. Option A, using blocks. Option B, on a chair. I'm going to use a chair. We'll do a second set, and I'll use the floor. So I'll show you both options. Fingers are facing your bum. 
Palms are on the chair or maybe they're on the blocks. Make sure you roll the shoulders back, but pull the ribs in. So you don't have a rib popped out. Yeah, your abs are on. That's it. Shift off. Down and up, just an easy down and up for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. You got it. Two. Keep your breath steady. And break. Just a little mini break. I'll show you on the blocks for a second set. We'll do it one more time. Hands can be on a block or on a chair. Big breath. Pin the shoulders in between your back like you got a little walnut. You're hanging on to it. Good. Ready for the lift. Up for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Breathe. Three more. That's all you need. Three more. Get it, January. Two. And one. Good. Shake it out. Roll out the wrists if you need it. <laughs> Perfect. Back to the position. All right, second exercise. We're going down slow for four. Four, three, two, one, and then puh. Really fast on that last one. Ready? Down. Four, three, two, and power. Four, three, two, and power. Pa. Four, three, two, and power. Yes, you can. Power. You're halfway. Yes, you can do this. Four, three, two, and power. Four more. That's all you need is four more. Keep your breath going. Yes, it's going to burn. Go, go, go. Breathe. <sighs> two more. That's all you need. Two more. Yes, you can. And power. Ooh, take a break. Shake it out. <laughs> Is it burning yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. One more breath and we'll do the second set. Make sure you change the blocks if you're using blocks. Rubber feels good. All right, second set, get ready. In position, ha. Down for four, three, two, and power up, boom. Four, three, two, use your breath to help you get there. More breath <sighs> means more strength. <sighs> yes, you can, breathe. I hope it's burning. Yes, breathe. Shoo. This is your halfway point right here. You got it. You made it this far, keep going. Yes, breathe. All you need is three more. Three, you can do three. Two, last one. Ha, all right, take a break. Woo, sore yet? <laughs> Wiggle it out. This is our third. Last exercise for the tricep. Your body's going to hate me but love me, okay? Same thing but opposite direction. So we go down quick and up slow. Four, three, two, and down. Four, three, two. All right, with me? Go. Down quick. Four, three, two, and yes. Down four, three, two, and down quick. Up slow. Down quick. Up slow. Yes. I hope it's shaking and burning. You're halfway. Don't stop now. You're halfway. You got this. Three more. That's all you need. Two more. You can do two more. Yes, you can. One more. Breathe and take a break. Shake it out. Whew. Is it burnt? Is it hot yet? I'm sweating. Coming to check you guys out. <laughs> Roll out the wrist if you need it. Pull the fingers back towards you if that's the thing your body needs. We, got, we just have one more of these. <laughs> one more of them. All right, you guys ready? I just psych myself up too. This is not just you. <laughs> All right, so we're going down quick. Ha! Bringing it back up. Four, three, two, and down. Up four, three, two, and down. Up four, three, yes! Up four, three, two, uh-huh. This is your halfway mark. And down, slow to get up. 
Quick to get down. You can do three more. Yes, you can. Three. Two. Slow. Quick. Last one. Ooh, I'm super proud of you. Shake those wrists out. All right, take your fingers, pull them down. Make sure your thumb is in the party with you, so you're pulling them down. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You oh. were not kidding about killing our triceps today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and switch sides. You know, thank me later, I promise. Swear at me now, thank me later. Go to elbow up, so we'll stretch out the triceps. Bring more of the blood in there. A little side to side bend, opening the rib cage. <sighs> All right, you guys feeling a little sweaty? <sighs> feeling inspired? <sighs> Take that arm across the chest. Thumb up. Wiggle the fingers. Look over the shoulder. And switch sides, cross the arm across the body, look over that shoulder, thumb is up, wiggle the fingers. <sighs> Good, bicep, tricep, that's what you need for those split grip moves, having strength and control through the bicep, tricep for inversions. Good, elbow above your head. Our upper trap always tries to take over the show. We need to build up the strength and ability for our bicep tricep connection so we can invert properly, we can press into our split grips properly. Yes. <sighs> Woo, that was 30 minutes, y'all. Not too bad. Nice job. Woo! Tomorrow, abs and a little booty. So make sure I see you same time, same place, and have an awesome day. I'm gonna stop the recording.